Hey SE fam, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I hair train my children from newborn and beyond so that we have stress-free and tear-free hair days. Okay, I see fam, a couple of things to note. Hair training starts as soon as we get home from the hospital. I need my children to get used to me doing their hair from the newborn stage so that later on down the line, we don't have any issues. Another thing is that I need to ensure that my children have had a good nap or sleep before I do their hair so they're not cranky. Food, food, food. I need to make sure that they have had some lunch, had their bottle before I do their hair again so they're not cranky or hungry and so that hair days just goes much more smoother when they've eaten. Screen time. As for me and my household, anything to occupy their mind and just take their mind off what I'm doing to their hair and give them some form of entertainment is a win-win for all of us. Toys, toys, toys. Yep, that too. When I'm doing their hair, they're allowed to have their toys to take their mind off what I'm doing to keep them occupied and just make hair days much more smoother. And when it comes to how much time I'm spending on my children's hair, I make sure that especially when they're younger, that I'm absolutely doing the basics so that I'm not spending too much time on their hair, getting them too tired and putting them off basically hair days. And when it comes to detangling my children's hair, I only do this on wash day. Outside of wash day, I don't comb or detangle their hair because I don't want them to feel any kind of pain, pulling or tugging on their hair, which is going to put them off me doing their hair altogether. So the only time I detangle their hair is when their hair is wet with a good amount of conditioner, which provides slip, ease and combability okay so now for the hair training so from zero to three months the newborn stage i like to wash my baby's hair and their body on my lap this is something my mom taught me um we do this in ghana and for me i personally love this method because i'm able to have more control over them in terms of their body um, i put the towel on my lap so they don't slip because they're very slippery as <laughs> newborns for some reason so this gives me a lot of control and also makes them feel safe and secure and comfortable while you're doing the hair that's really important i like to be very very gentle so that they enjoy the whole process of me washing their hair and then from four months, I like to put them in this baby bath support where they're laying down rather than on my lap because I don't want them to be reliant on being on my lap whenever I wash their hair. So putting them in this baby bath support really helps them to become independent, if that's the right word, but makes them um, get used to not being on my lap anymore. Um, this is the next phase of the hair training. Now, another thing I like to do is when I'm washing their scalp, use the pads on my fingers just so I'm not causing them any discomfort. Also, when I am rinsing off the shampoo from their hair, I like to ensure that they are laying down like this so that no water goes in their eyes because at this stage, I'm not able to, you know, get them to tilt their head backwards. So laying on something like this works out really, really great to ensure that no water is getting in her eyes because a lot of babies are scared when water goes in in their face or in their eyes. Also, when it comes to detangling, I'm making sure that I'm using my fingers first, um, being very gentle, then using a wide tooth comb, starting from the ends, working up to the roots. I don't want her to feel any kind of pain or tugging that's gonna put her off me touching her hair again. So I'm really, really gentle. At this age, they don't need much distraction, but I like to give them like a little toy. For my daughter right here, I've given her a toy dummy just so that she can have something to play with to distract her while I'm doing her hair. And then from six months, now they're able to sit up themselves. I put them in this baby bath seat because I want them to get used to sitting in the bath ready for the next phase of the hair training. So as you can see, I'm holding like this little baby teacup up and down up and down as i'm going up the head's been tilted backwards and it's helping me to rinse her hair so this is part of the training as well i don't want any water going in her face so as she's tilting her head backwards as i'm lifting a cup i'm able to rinse her hair properly but kind of teaching her how to tilt her head backwards without 
water going in her face i'm also using a shower head if you've noticed and um, because i want her to get used to the shower head and not be scared of it and then from one i get them sitting in the bath so now can you see the different phases how it all kind of brings me to this point so she's able to sit in the bath by herself and you also notice that i'm trying to support her to tilt her head backwards so again um too much water doesn't go in her face or her eyes to put her off me doing her hair and at this stage she gets bored quite easily at one so i have to have a lot of toys surrounding her just to kind of keep her occupied and busy and not focusing on what i'm doing with her hair but i have to have random toys because she likes random things so i put all of her random toys and um, things in a bath for her to play with and this helps me to do her hair you know with ease as you can see um, from the beginning of the training process it's kind of led us very nicely to this point where she's okay with me doing her hair she's not perfect of course she's still a child but she is good enough where I'm able to do her hair and then from about two or three years old I get them to sit on a stool um, while I wash their hair so they're no longer sitting in the bath but a stool this is mainly for my benefit um, for my back when they're in the bath it kind of helps my back quite a bit so getting them on the stool um, is more easier on my back but at this point um, they're very used to me doing their hair um, I still give them like toys to play with um, but yeah as you can see like perfect i mean she's able to tilt her head my daughter i mean able to tilt her head backwards without no issues no crying or nothing um, and that's because of the training up until this point okay so now when it comes to moisturizing same thing from newborn um plus i get them used to me doing their hair so as you can see i'm just running my fingers through my newborn's hair she was a newborn at this stage running my hands through her hair so she gets used to my hands being in her hair and um, when it comes to moisturizing her hair i'm very gentle while moisturizing i try and give them you know nice scalp massages when they're at the newborn stage but this just all helps to get them used to me doing their hair so i either do this on my lap or um, I put them down for example like this and I moisturize their hair that way and then from four months they're a bit more um, aware of things they're rolling over so you need to distract them a little bit more than when they were newborn so for my daughter I like to give her this sucky thing that I just literally put some fruits in there and she sucks on that that kind of keeps her occupied and takes her mind off what I'm doing um, as I mentioned she is rolling over so it's a little bit more challenging to keep her laying like this so I have to do a little thing few things to get her distracted and um, but this works up until a certain point as you can see i'm using the body cream to kind of distract her attention i also use my fingers clicking motion to try and like get her attention back and then i start doing her hair again and then from six months i transition them into a high chair strapped in because at six months they can crawl and they like to escape <laughs> so getting them strapped in kind of gets them used to just sitting in one spot as i'm doing their hair so they get used to the fact that whenever mummy's doing their hair they have to sit still so i keep them strapped in and then once i notice that um, they are used to just sitting in one spot while i'm doing their hair i then take the straps off so they also get used to sitting down without being strapped and sitting in one spot while i'm doing their hair of course they have snacks um, they have toys if needed or i give them screen time all of this helps them to get their mind off of what i'm doing also helps them to get used to me doing their hair and that just really works a treat from this point point. and as I mentioned in the very beginning of this video I don't comb or detangle my children's hair when I'm moisturizing it and it's mainly because one breakage and secondly because I don't want them to feel any kind of pain or tugging anything that's going to put them off so the only time I comb or detangle my children's hair will be on wash day when the hair is wet with conditioner that gives a lot of slip and makes the process pain free so from one, I now get them sitting without a high chair in front of me. So they're no longer relying on the high chair anymore. I now want to get them used to sitting in front of me without anything holding them in or strapping them in. Um, and that way I'm able to do their hair freely and they're able to be free. But then they know by this time that when mummy's doing their hair, they're supposed to sit still. 
and of course at this point they also have snacks and toys and dolls anything they like to keep them occupied as well at this point this is where i want them to get to a stage where they can just sit freely and i can do their hair without any interruption they're also busy doing their thing and i'm not stressed they're not stressed they're happy i'm happy and you know i get to do what i'm supposed to do and that's care for their hair if you enjoyed this video you're definitely going to enjoy the next video which you can see on the bottom right hand corner of your screen this is my daughter's one year hair update and i take you through all of the process that her hair has been through from newborn up until this point being one all the ups and the downs check it out i'll see you in the next one take care bye